Jay Lee. Jay Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J Rock is here, and um, J Rock came across something that he thought was pretty, I'll say, unique. You've heard of boxing, mixed martial arts, UFC, MMA. You've heard of WBA. Hell, you even heard of Bellator. You've heard of mud wrestling? I'm talking about on the national stage. You've heard of fencing, you know, with the, with the fencing tools. A whole lot of professional sports, fighting, if you will, have come about over the last several centuries. Well, now, there's a new professional fighting league. That's right, baby. J-Rock is talking about Fight PFC. Oh, the PFC stands for Professional, well, Pillow Fighting Championship, rather. That's right. Pillow Fighting is now a professional sport. Of all the things that J-Rock never thought would actually become professional, J-Rock is wondering exactly how might one become a professional pillow fighter? Where might one go to train to be a professional pillow fighter? How much do you have to weigh to be a professional pillow fighter? We're gonna check out a match, professional pillow fighting match. Um, and J-Rock is gonna react to it to see exactly how it's done. So, uh, I'm, I'm willing to keep an open mind, see how it goes, and uh, yeah. So, J-Rock says this. Let's check the damn thing out, shall we? Oh, they are in a... Going to, uh, to play out, because I understand you're not allowed to actually block up high. I think someone told me that would be a, 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 a uh, illegal technique. Round number one underway. So as we're set to get the action started here, and they're unloading here, Blake. And it looks like Mariah oh. Hall might be having a little bit of an advantage right now. Damn! Those overhead shots. <laughs> really? Now, I, I, I'm not trying to make any kind of jokes, but obviously back of the head is not a uh, is a, not a foul. No, it's not a foul. And I guess we can't really call that a spinning back fist or a spinning back pillow attempt there Stop. by Kendall Walker. But these two ladies giving it a go once again. Three 90-second rounds here. Mm. Good shots there. Okay, so looking to employ the two-handed technique is a Mariah Hall. And Hall looking to be a little bit more aggressive oh. right now with her shots as they're landing a little bit more on Kendall Volker. Oh. And, and Volker here seems to be playing January 29th, starting the new year on Fight TV. It's going to be a great way to hear or something I'm looking quite forward to seeing how this is actually going to uh, to play out because I understand you're not allowed to actually block up high I think someone told me that would be a, 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 a uh, illegal technique round number one underway so as we're set to get the action started here let's go let's go and they're unloading here Blake and it looks like Mariah Hall <laughs> might be having a little bit of an advantage right now bringing those overhead shots now, I, I, I'm not trying to make any kind of jokes, but obviously back of the head is not a... Uh, Why is this funny foul. to me? <laughs> no, it's not a foul, and I guess we can't really call that a spinning back fist or a spinning back... I'm interested, but it's funny, though. Ball That's ball what I'm trying to... But these two ladies giving it a go once again. Three Damn. Seconds Come on, Cletus. Mm. Come on. Good shots there. Okay, so looking to employ the two-handed technique is a Mariah Hall. And Hall looking to be a little bit more aggressive oh. right now with her shots as they're landing... A little bit more on Kendall Volker. Oh. And Volker here seems to be playing a little runaway game, trying to stay away from her opponent. Can't say that I blame her. She does have the reach. Uh, not using it. I mean, combat sports are the same no matter like, what. Like, I'd, 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 I'd have had my share of pillow fights, but I don't. Is Volker at all. And it looks like Volker once again trying to take advantage there. Puts her back how do you opponent. win, though? Like, not how do you keep score? Like, is there somebody counting the amount of hits, like in boxing? 
blocks. One thing I noticed. Uh, or is it just fight till you no, fall no, out? Like, certainly no official attire. It's almost as a come as you are environment. Well, they're wearing PFC t-shirts. They have <laughs> you a, got the damn like, commentators sort of, but, uh, trolling, as man. As a lifelong martial artist and uh, a, a mixed martial arts practitioner since it was still called NHB, shoes in the cage drive me crazy, Blake. And Kendall Volker, you saw there, put her elbow up to sort of block those pillow shots, a different technique than we're used to seeing in the MMA realm. Bell you got mouth guards in. Round number one. I would say Mariah Hall probably takes round number one. I would say that if oh this my God, they got coaches lights, for freaking pillows. She landed the more effective strike, but I don't know. Was that a slip? Was that judge a slip when she uh, fell down? Mariah Hall's butt touched the eye, and we'll certainly see how the judges factor into this because you do believe the judges probably have a little bit more impact on this situation than a typical MMA bout because you're not seeing as many finishes. Okay, so they're buttoned. And the action begins here. And once again, Hall coming up with those. I'm just trying to figure out, like. Momentum down on her opponent. Another again, spin and back pillow there. But again, Kendall Volker has that size advantage. So I don't know if those overhead shots are going to be as effective. I just saw the referee warn her for high blocking. I was told you're not allowed to block above your shoulder. And I just saw the referee administer a warning there against Volker. She's still doing it. Here, continuing to put that hand up. We saw that a little bit towards the end of round number one. And that seems to be a strategy for her trying to evade the shots. Mm. From Mariah Hall, but Hall's starting to bring the thunder here, Blake. Yeah, and once again, perfectly legal back of the head. Yeah. As a lifelong uh, martial mixed martial artist, this back of the head is, uh, I want to call hey. it. Yeah, that's, I've seen the referee Warner. So you got, you got karate Warner, dojos, and you got judo dojos, you got boxing gyms, now you're going to have pillow fighting gyms. Nah, I would assume that most uh, TKOs would, would occur due to fatigue or at least influenced by fatigue. At least to a big shot landing because this is a has high output. You certainly do have to factor that in there. And again, when you're swinging that arm continuously for upwards of 90 seconds on three occasions, you know consecutively there. Yeah, you have to that is true. You get tired and then like once I land a times. good one, you like, damn. Very you. similar to that, yeah. But uh, oh, goes for a spinning oh. back pillow once again. A that seems spinning to be a spinning back man. Y'all need to. Stop. No, and the, uh, Spinning and back the pillow. Back the head, but that's, that's 100% on you Volker. got to. Back to, to Hall, if you ask me. And Hall trying to add some damage yep. there towards the end of round two. And that brings Is rock, paper, scissors a professional sport? Because I think I might want to start. To be just the same as the first. As right now, the official talking about those blocking. And again, if you're Kendall Volker, you're going to have to think of a new game plan heading into this final frame. What about thumb wrestling? So. Is that, a, is that of, an official a sport? Indeed. Look at uh, they got to. Uh, the, again, the, it's alien to me, but um, yeah, the, the high somebody block walking like around, that is not allowed, that would, uh, pulling up a sign. They take man, the they they game. going to the umph degree with me. They ain't playing around. Uh, turn the back if you can't block hot. And now as we head to this final round here, Blake, it looks like Mariah Hall does have the advantage. But I mean, if you're gonna do this, you might as well start a kickball league. Like there needs to be a kickball league. Round number three, the final shake in the pillow. And we're going to get the action start here. The final 90 seconds in this opening bout here in Dana Beach. Getting all the oranges in the bottom of that pillowcase there as the referee. And you think so, maybe they slip a foreign object in that pillow? Could They could indeed. International object. Just throw in some nice chopping Damn. shots there. You know, even with nunchucks, this is very similar to an actual nunchuck fight would look. And you can almost see the desperation coming out here and Kendall Volker starting to swing heavily. Yeah. But Mariah Hall once again with those back and forth right hand shots. Like how much, to be how hard still. do you got to hit somebody a with a pace. pillow to so knock them out though? Fatigue earlier, uh, Mariah Hall seems to be keeping that pace pretty steady. She has a game I mean, plan maybe somebody two, two, three times your size, rounds. but somebody yeah. around and the same Hall size. Can pretty on. much keep the action. On her side for the last minute, she should be able to walk away possibly with a unanimous decision. I would expect so. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the for lack of a better term, the wood chopping technique she's been utilizing side to side overhead has really uh, really defeated the range advantage that Volker should have had. Volker swung very wide, and in any combat sport, wide swings take too long to get to the, uh, the opponent. And you can see the fatigue starting to set in right here for both ladies as we're towards the end of this final frame right now. And Kendall Volker looks like that gas tank is just completely empty. Yeah. Yeah, Volker wide open for a liver shot there. And again, Blake, when you're coming from an MMA background or even a boxing background, the techniques and the swings you continually make. Oh! oh! Down she goes! Oh! oh! But did she hit her with the pillow? She puts herself right on the canvas looking up at the stars. And I did she hit her with the pillow? Was that like a backhand or something? I think Hall was saying that may have been something other than the pillow that struck her there. I Could think that's, that's what I'm sitting there saying. Like, did she hit up with something uh, with some other than the pillow? 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' he score card. Damn, and our no. judges, all of them scored it. 41-36 for your winner. By way of unanimous decision, Mariah Hall. Mariah, come on here. How you trash talking pillow fight? Oh, I got to hit it. Mariah, let me get a couple of words with you here. A lot of excitement, Mariah. Come on here. This is a, a pillow fight. Did you? Is this what you expected? This is what I needed. I needed this. You guys got to hear it now. Woo! Look, Mariah, don't go anywhere. I wanted you to face the camera over here. Mariah, obviously she was a taller fighter. What, what, did you have an advantage since you're the shorter uh, a fighter here? Is it, do you have an opportunity to use that? I was interested. It's just funny I though. I, I don't know, I like. There's so many jokes. Don't so wear nails <laughs> next time, guys, or you're going to have to bite them off. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Mariah Hall. Ah. Yeah. Look, J-Rock says this. I ain't knocking nobody for trying to, you know, create something new. Expand on their horizons, take something to another level. Everybody can relate to pillow fighting, at least on some level. I know as a kid, I had my share of pillow fights. I'm pretty sure some of y'all have as well. I'm just saying, man, it's just a whole lot of questions I got. Like, how hard you gotta hit somebody with a pillow? Now look, I'm not saying a pillow can't knock you out, right? Especially if you're tired, your hands are down, somebody catch you with the right side, you know, with the with with, with the corner of that pillow. You know, if they because you know if you you if you ball up a pillow hard enough, it can be, it can get a little harder. You know, you spread it out, it gets softer. But if you you get all those feathers down in one area, you know, it can, it can be a nice little hit. So I ain't saying it can knock you. I'm just saying how hard I'm. So I gotta hit you, like, cause you got to come from from way back hill in order to get some velocity with that. So J Rock is wondering, like, mm, what else they gonna come up with professionally? You know, underwater basket weaving? I don't know. We just gonna have to wait and see. What say you, man? Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, man, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Also, hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J Rock. Until next time. Mamba GG. And Wakanda forever. If you smell la 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 what J Rock is cooking.